How's it going guys? We are back on the video here and this video is going to be on how to finish your objectives faster in the prototype event and the fantasy hockey event. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and let's hop into this video now. We released these brand new objectives for two events we got right now, and honestly, the rewards are pretty worth it in both of them, especially the fancy hockey one, because you're getting very, very close to actually making a choice pack, which is going to take some time. You're not going to be able to do this, you know, obviously like in one day. It's not realistic unless you just absolutely play nonstop. Uh, but looking at the prototype objectives here first, uh, you need to get hits with a prototype player item. Uh, you need to complete games with a prototype player item. But again, what that means though is you can actually have multiple in your lineup. So for example, say you have three prototype players in your lineup. Each game you play, it will count as three instead of one game, okay? So uh, it'll go a lot quicker if you do it that way. Try to max out as many as you possibly can. Try to get as many as you can and put them on your team. Take shots with prototypes player. Again, obvious, right? Get assist with prototypes players. Obvious. You got an 84 overall exclusive prototype player item as well. So that helps you even more. So you can, once you get that done, getting assists. So like even if you get one player, I'll show you what you're supposed to do, obviously, to get all these things, assist, all that in a moment. But that'll help you a lot. And you got a power up collectible. That's useful for, for actually maxing out one of the power up cards. Uh, you get another prototype collectible here. Uh, if you score goals uh, with a prototype player, uh, you also get another power collectible when you complete 200 games in Rivals Squad Battles of Champs. Again, same thing. You could put as many cards you want on your team. It'll make it go a lot quicker. And then the last but not least, perform any deke with prototype player items, uh, and you get a prototype collectible, which again, uh, you know, can be decent. But uh, you, in the end, you get it looks like uh, yes. Yeah, Four power up collectibles, four power up collectibles, which pretty much, guys, uh, it maxes out a uh, a actual MSP for you. So, if you want, say like the he shirt, eighty six overall maxed out. Uh, you all you have to do is really just get the pro prototype collectible, you get their 82 overall version, just play with their 82 card, get these objectives done, and then you can fully max them out. And that's all you have to do. You can just do it free to play, and and there you go. That's very good. So, how do you actually get these? Here's what I'm gonna tell you guys what to do, all right? This is what you're supposed to do. Go to the auction house and you wanna make sure you have a prototype player or two, all right? So right now, there's 100 on the auction house and uh, the cheapest that they're going for uh, is probably about the Rock, I would guess, uh, and the Draper. So you can get two of these cards here. Yes, they're not optimal overalls here. Throw them on your fourth line. Actually, throw them on your first line because you wanna know why? I'm gonna tell you guys what to do here. Throw these guys on your first line. Put LaRock uh, on the first line. Uh, left wing, he's a righty. 79 speed, 79 excel. I know it's not great. Uh, and then you wanna also get Draper. Pick him up and then put him on the right wing. Left handed, boom. There you go, you got Draper. And then also, if you guys really want, uh, I would also trade in that collectible, uh, the prototype collectible, make one of them and make he sure 82 overall. So then you got three prototype player items in your lineup right there. And now what do you do next? That's the way to do this is in squad battles, okay guys? So what you wanna do now is you wanna go into my rank here, okay? Go into my, go into the opponent select screen. You wanna put it, go against the worst team possible. So this one, 71 overall, go to rookie and go to, if you wanna get the games done quicker, two minutes okay if you're trying to get the games played one done two minutes is the easiest because again these games last so short you can pretty much just hold on to the puck and the ai won't uh, go after you and you'll be able to rag the puck out pretty much uh, once you get a lead uh and then you'll just complete games easily it, it's it's tedious for sure that's why you stack as many in your lineup as you possibly can but once you do that i recommend putting the prototype players like i said i would put larock here where solani is put uh he sure here and then uh draper and then boom you got three cards right there in your lineup all right Working on the games played one, what I'd recommend is again having all of them here in the top line and playing four minutes on rookie and just literally just going for the assist with the prototype players, uh, you know, go for hits, just drop the puck, you know, to them, to the defenseman, to the AI, and then just hit them, literally hit them with the a with them, and you can easily farm hits, uh, and and pretty much it's uh, it's a very easy way to actually end up uh, getting these objectives done quite quickly. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think it's a smart thing to do, guys. I, I really believe it's it's the easiest way to do it when it comes to the prototype objectives. And then, guys, for the fantasy hockey collectibles here, uh, it's pretty much the same thing as the prototypes objectives. So you complete games. Uh, with the prototype item, so it goes for both actually, which is really nice. So you're basically, if you're if you're doing the objectives, like you have the cards for one, you're doing it for both, which is really nice because they're pretty much 
uh, the same for the most part, right? Which is uh, which is very nice and helpful. Uh, and it, it makes it a lot more simple, right? There's, it's just a little bit harder and longer to do uh, the fancy hockey objectives. So you have three each. You have 90 games. You take shots with them. Complete the games. Again, you want to stack as many as you can in your lineup. Score goals with them. Uh, and, and then you get six. So in total, you get 24 fantasy hockey collectibles. And that gets you a decent amount of the way there to actually getting one of the choice packs. You're just actually making a straight up one. Yes, it still will cost a lot. But it's a lot more reasonable. It really is a lot more reasonable. So, yeah, once you get that, you have 24 fancy hockey collectibles and... Again, you're probably not going to be able to do that by this week unless you just, again, have, like, all the, the cards pretty much. Or Honestly, guys, not the worst idea, though, right now would be to simply just make all of these. Literally make all five of these and just put them in your lineup, even if they're 82 overall. I To me, that's, that's a W. I, I think you should do that because you have five of them there. And then even if you buy LaRock and Draper, bang, you have seven in your lineup. And, guys, when you think of it like that, it doesn't cost that much, right? So to make one of these collectibles, all you need to do is trade in... What one one eighty three gets you? So you get traded in seven eighty threes, and you get you get all of them. Or sorry, five eighty threes, and you get you get all of those eighty twos, and you buy for twenty k, and then you have all so you have seven. All right, so you can have seven of them right there. And then guys, for the, for the completed games here, if you do if you, if you do the math here, every time you play a game, it's seven. Right, so every time you you do that, so for example, you need to complete what two hundred? How many games is it? Two two twenty five. Okay, so if you have seven in the lineup, uh, I mean it, it can go a lot quicker. It, it really can. You have to play, I guess in the end, probably what like uh, basically like forty games or something like that. Basically, actually no, less than that. 30 i believe it is guys about about 32 ish games so you only play a little bit over 30 and again that could be done so easily guys if you do squad battles and you do rookie two minutes the games fly by that sounds like a crazy amount of games but if you get all seven like that guys that's really the meta it really is 100 percent for completing the game so you can get a lot of those done the only hard part will be scoring the goals but again as i mentioned guys put it on rookie squad battles bang score it's so easy it's so easy to do that so that's the best way to do it guys it really is and and to me, I hope I helped you guys out with the objectives. And I hope it's a little bit more clear and understanding of what you have to actually do for these objectives. Uh, I think they're worth going for. Uh, one note with the fancy uh, objectives is it says 28 days. So if you want to actually make one of those, you need to actually make sure you do this by the end of the next Friday. Not this Friday coming up, the next Friday. So I believe Evo will be out and the sets won't exist anymore starting on November 3rd. So make sure uh, if you're going to do this, you're going to make sure you do it before that and you want to have enough collectibles to actually make a choice set for yourself, all right? So again, you can't really get all the collectibles required for it for the fancy hockey set, which again, it's unfortunate. It costs a decent amount here. That's just kind of how it is. Fancy hockey, they always value it insanely high. But for the most part, uh, you're getting you know, 24 uh, near 24 uh, out of the 32. That's pretty good, right? So you only need eight more collectibles, which again, it does cost a lot. I can't deny it. But uh, if you can just trade in your goal player, so if you can trade in 583s, right? So it's you know it it sounds bad. It does. But if you can trade in uh, again that many times, you can you, you trade in 40 83s against a lot. I understand it. Uh, you can get uh, a choice pack right there. So yeah, and, and it'll be probably the week one ones I believe go away this week, and then week two you'll have out. Yeah, that's correct. So week two will be out this Friday. Okay. Guys, hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique at three E's, and join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video.